At the end of your day, turn to the nightly newsletter. One email every night. All the top stories handpicked by our team. Sign up at night. Your one news source. This is News Center One. Good evening, I'm Shad Olson. This is News Center One at 530. It is another reason why the VA in Hot Springs is so important to that community. In honor of National Family Caregivers Month, the Veterans Affairs Black Hills Healthcare System in Hot Springs celebrating with an open house today. That event provides an opportunity to recognize the crucial role that caregivers play in helping veterans recover from injury and illness. Family caregivers provide compassionate home-based care for our nation's heroes. VA leaders say that more than 200 people make up the caregiver support program. I think it's very important to continue to recognize the role that caregivers play every day. A lot of times our family members are unsung heroes um, of our veteran and our military population. So just an opportunity to pay tribute, to recognize um, and pay honor to them during National Family Caregiver Month. The VA offers a number of programs, including in-home care, adult day health care, respite, and home-based primary care. New developments today likely to only intensify the Syrian refugee debate. It's now confirmed the mastermind of the Paris bombing boasted in published interviews about using the stream of Syrian refugees to travel between France and Syria and back, meeting with top ISIS leaders in Syria to coordinate that horrific Paris attack. Tonight, in an in-depth report, we hear from one noted scholar on Islam, my longtime friend and best-selling author, I.Q. Rasuli, who says that Americans would be fools to believe an influx of Muslim refugees will not bring terrorist attacks on American soil. And he says that this moment in history, as well as Obama's refugee policy, represent a tipping point in the worldwide cultural clash. We warn you tonight, Rasuli's words represent his opinions on this topic, and they paint a stark picture of what he says hangs in the balance. Call it a debate over compassion. Americans deeply divided over the issue of Syrian refugees seeking asylum and President Obama's plan to bring 180,000 into the United States. You know, there's a lot of concern. I know across South Dakota we're hearing it in our offices and there's a lot of concern around the country. After the deadly Paris attacks and threats of similar acts of violence on American soil, the debate is clearly a question of safety for American citizens. With more than two-thirds of the nation's governors now saying they will not allow Syrian refugees within their borders. I want to do all I can as governor of this state. No Muslim in the United States of America can ever be loyal to the American Constitution. Islamic scholar and Muslim critic I.Q. Rasuli, a man with a price on his head for speaking out against Islam, says there is every reason for concern and says that impacts of a refugee influx in the nations of Europe offer immediate proof. 80% of the one and a half million people who have come to Europe recently, 80% are of military age. They are going to destroy Europe unless Europe wakes up. Rasuli has authored multiple books on what he believes is the true violent nature of the Muslim faith. He now lives his life in constant hiding and spoke to me by phone from an undisclosed location. And the most important thing, in Syria of 28 million people or so, only 10% of them are Christian. The Christians will assimilate. The Muslims will never assimilate. It's that simple. It's not complicated. Rasuli says he believes it a guarantee that harboring refugees will result in sleeper cells, terrorist plots, and attacks on American soil. And the same sort of public unrest and street violence now seen in France, Germany, Norway, and Sweden. <laughs> in the United States of America can ever be loyal to the American Constitution, nor can any Muslim in the United States be a loyal citizen, because non-Muslim Americans are called infidels, kuffar, unbelievers, kafirun, to be either subjugated or exterminated. And a report this week by the FBI carries the point. The arrest of nearly 70 people over the last 18 months, some who came to the United States seeking safety. Some American citizens and ISIS sympathizers converted to join the jihad. As the events in Paris have shown us, the threat posed by ISIS reaches well beyond the borders of Iraq and Syria. If it can, ISIS will spread its campaign of violence to innocent people all over the world. I love America. You are lucky so far. You are lucky so far. But you know, the enemy is already within the gates. The enemy is within the gates. On social media, the debate is in full roar. 
between those urging compassion for people fleeing Middle Eastern violence and those who believe it a case where compassion could lead to an act of cultural suicide in the West. You have no right to do that. Why? Because you are bequeathing to your children and grandchildren the greatest disaster it's possible. Because your fathers and grandfathers died to give you the freedom that you have today. Freedom never comes free. Never. And a House vote to suspend the Syrian refugee program in the United States will be taken up by the Senate this week. As this conversation continues, FBI background checks have been lofted by some as a solution to safety concerns. Their critics warn that even that may not be a feasible solution, since the sources and information necessary to make accurate assessment of threat have in many cases been destroyed in the Syrian conflict or displaced by that mass migration. Meantime, Ellsworth Air Force Base is a major player in the fight against terror. B-1 bombers from Ellsworth have been dropping bombs at a record pace this year as part of an escalated assault on Islamic State targets. Base Commander Colonel Gentry Boswell says that Ellsworth's 34th Bomb Squadron dropped over 2,000 bombs on targets in Afghanistan, Iraq and Syria during a six-month deployment that ended in July. Boswell says he expects deployments to continue their cycle with increased cooperation from European partners as they react to the recent Paris attacks by the Islamic State group. And here's a look at today's markets on Wall Street. And as we check the major indexes in what will be a holiday-shortened week, we typically see a downward trend in some of those numbers, and that starts us off in uh, familiar fashion on this Monday before Thanksgiving. Down 31 points today, 17,793. NASDAQ Composite down 2 to 5,102. S&P down 3 to 2087. And gold is down $8 and a dime to $1,068.20 on this day of trade. Chief Meteorologist Bob Regeo joining us. Yeah. And we're counting down to counting down Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, day. you so bet. Lots of people want to know what their weather's going to do for travel. Exactly, and we have it for them right here. The best day to travel, Shad, will be Wednesday because we okay. do have a storm system moving in on late Wednesday and on Thanksgiving. So. Uh, if you haven't already made your plans and you are thinking of flying out of Rapid City, no problem on Wednesday. And you can see I have Chicago, Denver, New York, Minneapolis on there. No delays expected there as well. But if you wait till Thursday, there could be some problems. Dan, you want to, you want to be there by Thursday anyway. Yeah, you got to be there by get Thursday. There, get there while the turkey's still in the oven. Exactly. That's so, you got to get the, right. uh, the aromas have to be wafting. You know? <laughs> we'll get more details coming up with Bob in just a bit. We're back with more news after the break. Man, I'm hungry all of a sudden. Uh, Are you hungry? Oh, I'm always hungry. News Center 1 at 530 continues. This is News Center 1 with Chad Olson. Sports with Justin Wickersham. And weather with Chief Meteorologist Bob Riggio. You've got priorities. Things that need to be taken care of and things to pay attention to. It's not easy, but you're making it work. At First Interstate Bank, we know the drill. And just as others are relying on you, you can rely on us to help keep you doing what you do best. Your world's a busy one, full of all kinds of financial choices. You've got people depending on you to make those decisions. And then, make breakfast. Financial success on the go? It's bigger than banking. It's you and I together. Consider the turtle. Hello, Mr. Turtle. Turtles have a hard shell to protect their delicate bodies. Inside the shell, it's safe. Outside, not so safe. The same goes for humans and our delicate bodies. Outside the car, not safe. Inside, much safer. Your seat belt keeps you in a much safer place. It's safer inside. Learn from the turtle. Stay inside. Stay alive. Hey, at Billion Kia, the holidays are on us. That's right, now we pay your first two payments, plus you get the option for no payments for 90 days. That's no payments until spring. And on top of that, 0% APR financing for 66 months. Or get into the hot new 2016 Kia Forte for just fifteen five. And if your credit's, well, not so good, let our team of elves help you get into the car you deserve. Because this holiday season, we'd love to see you in a Kia. At Billion Kia in Rapid City or at BillionAuto.com for your Black Friday specials. Bills, bills. Hey, you. Me? Yes, you, with bills stacking up so high you can't move. Wait, how did you know? Losing sleep worrying about money? Yeah. Haven't you heard about North American title loans? No. You can have the cash you need in just 15 minutes. All you need is a free and clear car title and photo ID. Mm. There's no hassle, no credit check, and you keep driving your car. So what are you waiting for? Give 
us a call at 877-511-CASH. North American Title Loans. Take charge of your life today. Thanksgiving is a day for celebration and tradition. It's a day to spend with families and friends and give thanks for our many blessings. We open our homes. We gather in the kitchen. We share stories and laughter. And we set the dinner table. Every year at Shields, we close our doors so our customers and associates can spend time with their loved ones. We hope you will too. Happy Thanksgiving from all of us at Shields. Rapid City Mayor Steve Allender speaking today on behalf of small businesses. Allender is proclaimed Saturday, November 28th as Small Business Saturday. Small Business Saturday is a nationwide effort to steer shoppers toward local independently owned businesses during the holiday shopping season. Small businesses, most of the growth in downtown Rapid City and in the area. You know, we all go to the big box stores, but it, it's not a place that you spend the day. You can come to Rapid City this Saturday, any day, and spend the entire day downtown. Building a community starts with the mom and pops in the organization. It really does. And they grow from there, and they go into one thing and go into another. It really is 80% of America now is built on small business. And as we know, there are plenty of places to shop this holiday season, but keeping dollars in our community by shopping locally is a gift that keeps on giving. It's also a time to thank and appreciate local businesses and their dedication to serving our community. The South Dakota Community Foundation is pleased to announce that 108 grants totaling $1.1 million are now being awarded to nonprofit and charitable organizations in Pennington County alone from that South Dakota fund. The South Dakota Community Foundation has awarded grants in all 66 South Dakota counties, and Pennington County is the second county to exceed the $1 million mark. That's something the county is very proud of. We have awarded 108 grants, totaling almost $1.1 million. We've made grants awards in all counties in South Dakota, and Pennington County is the second county that we've actually hit the million dollar mark in. I really give credit to the nonprofit organizations here in Pennington County. Obviously, the work that they're doing and their missions um, resonate with our grant making committee and with our donors, and I really give credit to them for having achieved this goal. And our congratulations to all the recipients of the grant funds for their hard work and dedication in our community. Chilly but sunny day across the Black Hills as we start this Monday in this holiday shortened week. The geese enjoying the crisp temperatures at least. Stay with us. Well, geese are safe until Christmas probably. It's the turkeys that have to be in danger now. Bob has more details in the forecast coming up. There's a place where hard work is king where people punch in early and leave late. And so is it any surprise that when a true hero is born, that they come from a place like this? Ram salutes the heroes of the Hunger Games. See the Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2 November 20th. Get 0% APR for 75 months on a 2015 Ram 1500 model now. Get 0% APR financing for 75 months, plus 6,000 in total values on the 2015 Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Cab. To me, sustainability means being able to feed the world in the future. We need to produce more with less. It's knowing that our soil is going to be in better shape this year than it was the year before. We need to stop erosion at the top of the hill, not at the bottom. We find that we can merge sustainable practices with profitability. It's about caring for the land, it's about passing it on to the next generation. It's about doing the right thing. I have a responsibility for the people of South Dakota to feed the world. The future of farming is very bright. I'm Jeff Lochner. Steve Halverson. El Miron. This is farming. small to tall we do it all at loftus dental 4004 jackson boulevard
It's the perfect time to get the gift you've waited for all year. The redesigned Accord with multi-angle rearview camera standard. Hurry into the Happy Honda Day sales event and you could get a great deal on KBB.com's best value brand. Now, at your Honda dealer. This weather brought to you by Black Hills Power. This is New Center One. Weather with Chief Meteorologist Bob Riggio. All right, Weather Almanac, 50 degrees, the high temperature, normal is 43, so we're 7 above that. We'll be uh, above a normal again tomorrow. In fact, we're going for another 50-degree day, day tomorrow. And then on Wednesday, a cool front comes through, and we'll see some changes in the weather. Wednesday, certainly uh, through Thanksgiving and for the rest of the week. No moisture today, 657, sun up, 420. Sun will be going down. Days continue to get uh, smaller and smaller, at least uh, daylight. 39 uh, currently. This is Ellsworth now, folks. Ellsworth, we're over here at Ellsworth uh, Air Force Base. 39 degrees over there. We have clear skies. Uh, let's see, winds are out of the southeast at 9. So winds were not much of a problem at all today. Satellite radar, northern plains, nothing going on. A few little sprinkles, north central South Dakota, up there into central North Dakota. Everything is quiet, but here's our future satellite radar. You can see this little bank of clouds right along the, uh, the foothills. A little bit of fog expected. We'll see some fog developing uh, uh, after midnight tonight and early tomorrow morning. Should be burning off by mid-morning tomorrow. And then the sun returns. We'll have... Mostly cloudy skies in the morning, becoming uh, partly cloudy skies during mid-morning, uh, late morning, and certainly throughout the afternoon hours. This is, uh, this is Tuesday, <clears throat> so not so bad. Okay, here, well, here we go. A little bit of a cold front coming in. That's going to cool our temperatures down on Wednesday. And if you're flying out of Rapid City, again, you, you should have no problems. However, Thursday, Thanksgiving, you see all this snow back here in Montana, Wyoming. Well, that's going to nose its way into the Black Hills late Wednesday. And we'll have some scattered snow showers in the area on, on Thanksgiving Day as well. Okay. So if you're leaving on Wednesday, as I said, uh, you should have any problems. Here are the high temperatures today across the Northern Plains, 48 Aberdeen, uh, 32 International Falls, Bismarck, 44. A little warmer temperatures down here in Kansas, 64 Dodge City, 64 Wichita, 63 in North Platte. Not bad over in uh, uh, Scotts Bluff. Uh, <laughs> what was that? 58, I think it was. Uh, anyways, I know what tomorrow is. Tomorrow's going to be 56 in Scotts Bluff. Uh, sometimes I turn away way too fast. 45 Sheridan, 57 in Denver tomorrow. So another nice day. And then on Wednesday, remember the front we, put, we talked about? There you go. You can see temperatures in the 30s all across South Dakota. So cooler temperatures on the way on Wednesday and, and even colder yet on Thanksgiving Day. All right, high temperatures today across South Dakota. 40s uh, generally off to the uh, east and uh, down over southwestern South Dakota where we live. Temperatures, high temperatures in the 50s. Pretty much the same scenario tomorrow. Here you go, uh, 53 in Pine Ridge. Uh, 40, 43 in Buffalo, though, 45 in uh, Spearfish. A little, little bit cooler up in the higher elevations, and then much colder temperatures off to these lower 40s, uh, upper 30s as high temperatures over in East River. And then Wednesday, uh, generally in the 30s, middle 30s over East River for highs, and we'll have our high temperatures even in the 20s, uh, 20s on Wednesday. That's where the colder air is. And this cold air you see northwestern South Dakota, that'll be sliding into the uh, Black Hills area on Thanksgiving. So much colder temperatures, definitely a, a cold trend in store for us. Not tomorrow. Here's the uh, forecast for tomorrow. We'll have another nice day. Get out and enjoy it, folks. Clouds in the morning becoming partly cloudy by mid-morning, 49 Spearfish, 50 Custer. High temperatures now, Deadwood 50, Belfouche 50, 49 Sturgis 54. Down in Hot Springs, not too terribly bad. Tonight, 22, partly cloudy. Uh, look for some fog developing after midnight tonight. Winds are out of the south, 5 to 10. Tomorrow we'll have some fog in the morning, mostly cloudy, becoming partly cloudy by mid-morning. 50 degrees, that high temperature should be nice. What else we got on there? Northerly winds, 5 to 10. And then uh, tomorrow evening, uh, here you go, 25 increasing clouds, uh, breezy and a little bit chilly. Winds out of the northwest, 5 to 10. And on uh, Wednesday... 32, there you go, we're cooling it down. Look for the snow to move in late Wednesday, some scattered snow showers on uh, Thanksgiving. We don't expect much accumulation, but we'll keep our eye peeled on that one. 27 on Friday, and then uh, clouds return Saturday, Sunday at lower 30. So definitely some colder temperatures, below normal temperatures. Wednesday right on through Monday, below normal temperatures, single digits for overnight lows. Clickbigdeals.com. 
Is this, uh, yeah, get $20 at Doe Trader Pizza for only uh, 10 bucks. Uh, Dro, uh, Doe Trader Pizza is located on uh, Jackson Boulevard in Spearfish. I haven't been up there. Need to go up there sometime yeah, soon. If, if you're going to eat pizza, the week Thanksgiving, I, I suggest Monday or Tuesday, probably the yeah. best way to do it. Because Wednesday, yeah. you got you got to basically go into an all day fast. Bob, isn't that the strategy? Yeah, you know, I try and that. Then, and then Thursday, then you just you can you can just eat to your heart's Have content. you been successful fasting on Wednesday all day? Have, be truthful now, Bob. I, the I've people never are been, watching. I've never been successful fasting a single day in my life. <laughs> Sc <laughs> scouts, scouts, scouts honest honor. truth right there. No, I, yeah. I don't I try. do very well at that. I try, but I can't do it. That, that 10 a.m. coffee break, yeah. I'm, I'm, about I'm about ready. That's about as far as oh, I can make it. Thank you, Bob. Still to come, Broncos name their starting quarterback for the uh, game coming up this weekend. A bit of a controversy when it comes to whether Peyton Manning has been helping enough with that backup. Justin will tell us more about that. And another letter of intent signing for a Rapid City athlete taking their game to the next level. New Center One Sports coming up next. Now only Ford offers $750 Black Friday bonus cash on select vehicles on top of Ford friends and neighbors pricing. That doesn't happen every day. Make Black Friday hassle-free with low prices on Ford cars, trucks, and SUVs. And get $750 Black Friday bonus cash on select Ford vehicles on top of all other offers. It's an inside deal. Now for everyone. With an additional $750 Black Friday bonus cash, get an all-wheel drive fusion for up to $7,941 below MSRP. Only at your local Ford stores. At Mid-Continent's Northern Plains Network, we're serious about the data that moves your enterprise, making sure it gets wherever you need it to go. Every single bit, every single byte, every single day. Across our exclusive MEF certified fiber optic network covering thousands of miles. Self-healing, redundant, and scalable to four terabits per second. Seriously, the Northern Plains Network from Mid-Continent Business Solutions. We're serious about data. Synchrony Financial. Engage with a call center team that makes customers smile. Engage with a job where great benefits are only one of the benefits. Engage with us. We're now hiring for call center positions in Rapid City. Learn more and apply at SynchronyCareers.com. That's S-Y-N-C-H-R-O-N-Y Careers.com. Or text S-Y-F-12 to 90206. Again, text S-Y-F-12 to 90206. Engage with us. It's the perfect time to get the gift you waited for all year. The Odyssey Special Edition, featuring the Honda Vac and a rear entertainment system. Hurry into the Happy Honda Day sales event and you could get a great deal on KBB.com's best value brand. Now, at your Honda dealer. This is New Center One Sports with Justin Wickersham. It's been a month packed full of college signings, and today another Rapid City senior took the next step in her athletic career. Riley Smith of St. Thomas More signed a letter of intent this afternoon to participate in rodeo next year at the University of Wyoming in Laramie. Smith was crowned the state high school rodeo queen this past summer and finished runner-up in the queen contest at the National High School Finals Rodeo. Smith also finished eighth at state in the goat tying event. She plans to compete in both goat tying and breakaway roping at the University of Wyoming. Well, I mean, I feel like it's been a long time coming. It's just always been a dream of mine to college rodeo. Rodeo has been a huge part of my life all throughout it. So, I mean, I'm really excited for the future. Looks like the Denver Broncos will stay with Brock Osweiler at quarterback this week against the New England Patriots. Osweiler made his first NFL start this past Sunday in place of future Hall of Famer Peyton Manning. He led the Broncos to a 17-15 victory over the Chicago Bears to stop a two-game losing streak. Osweiler finished the game 20 of 27, passing for 250 yards to go with two touchdowns. He now faces Tom Brady and the New England Patriots in what could be a potential AFC championship battle. Here is what head coach Gary Kubiak had to say about his decision to stick with the young quarterback. We said that we would go back and review the entire situation at the beginning of this week which we have done and uh, basically nothing has changed you know we make the same decision we made last week we think this is best for Peyton and for our football team right now and uh, so that's our you know that's the way we will proceed and like I said we're all in on the next football game 
and Kyle Busch took home the 2015 Sprint Cup Championship at Homestead yesterday, while NASCAR said goodbye to a legend of the sport. Bush took the championship despite breaking his right leg and left foot before the Daytona 500, causing him to miss the first 11 races of the season. Meanwhile, NASCAR legend Jeff Gordon drove in his final race yesterday at Homestead Miami Speedway. After 23 years, the future Hall of Famer is retiring with 93 wins and four Sprint Cup championships. To do what we did to end up in victory lane and uh, to win this championship by winning the race was something special. So. Um, you know, I don't know if it's all completely sunk in yet. I remember winning the Xfinity Series championship, and uh, it, it, it took it a little bit to uh, to kind of get, get in, and I'm sure we'll be feeling that here in a few weeks in Las Vegas. But, um, you know, this night tonight is, is certainly really, really special. Overall, I'm still just extremely proud and excited, not only the way that we ran this weekend and this year, but just my whole career. And it felt so good to see Rick Hendrick. I wanted to give him that race helmet, uh, you know, design that helmet with the, the intent of giving it to him. He's so special to me. And that's a look at sports. We'll be right back. Come to the Thanksgiving holiday sale at Furniture Row and find special savings on select room groups and save 20% on all decor and linen. Plus, enjoy interest-free financing for five years. The Thanksgiving holiday sale at Furniture Row is on now. The best dealership in the hills. I really appreciate the lack of high-pressure sales tactics. Purchasing from Hirschroods was easy. I appreciated the respect they gave me by walking me through all the features of my new car, the service requirements, and the complete warranty. After visiting half a dozen dealerships, we liked you guys the best. They say your best advertising is a happy customer, and after 105 years, we do have a lot of them. Hirschroods has purchased I-90 and exit 30. Don't drive by, drive in. Brighten up any room with Sylvania light bulbs from Menards. Right now, all stock Sylvania LED bulbs are on sale. This energy saving soft white LED bulb replaces a 60 watt incandescent and lasts over 18 years. Right now, it's only $3.99. Light up your home with Patriot Lighting. The Daphne Collection features a weathered bronze finish with opal glass. This three light pendant is $89, and this five light chandelier is $149. Save big money at Menards. Shopco, over 850 doorbusters. Starts Thursday at 4 p.m. Camera drone, $49.99. Team apparel, 40% off. Movies, $6.99. Starts Thursday, 4 p.m. Shark Navigator Vacuum, save $90. Family outerwear, 60% off. Doorbusters, 7-inch Trio Tablet, $27.99. Glass Storage Set, $4.99. Starts Thursday, while quantities last at Shopco. At Denver Mattress, you can always count on getting a state-of-the-art American-made mattress of exceptional quality at a great price. For a limited time, get the Doctor's Choice two-piece queen mattress set in plush, Euro top, or firm for just $4.99. Better tomorrow, start tonight at Denver Mattress. Well, we all know that holiday cooking and all those preparations for family can be frantic, but you can also make it simple. News Center 1 Today's Monica Davis teaming up with Chef Azelle from Arrowhead Country Club to create simple yet delicious Thanksgiving dishes. Today they demonstrated how to make a crostini appetizer three ways, and you can tune in tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. to see what they're making up for the main course in that delicious fare as well. Yeah, looks good. Anyway, we've been we've been talking we've been, food since the start of the show, Bob. I know, I know. <laughs> Bread and butter. That looked yeah. even that looked pretty good. That, that did was look, that did look opened good. up that. What, thing. Justin? You bring any food with you in here? You, uh, no, last, I don't have last one in's supposed to be <laughs> bringing the snacks. All right, let's look at the seven day real quick. No, let's not look at the seven day. All yeah, right, we'll see you back here at ten. Black Friday offers. Right now, choose Rogue with 0% APR for up to 60 months or get 500 bonus cash on Juke. Shop your local Nissan store and choose Nissan.com. 
I love a gourmet cheeseburger as much as anybody. And that's why we created the Pub Burger at Culver's. My favorite cheeseburger starts with great beef. When you get that burger in your hand and the juices are flowing, you want to devour it. Chef, we're going to make a pepper grinder Pub Burger. I'm stoked, man. We got a little Wisconsin Swiss and yeah. Wisconsin cheddar. Those are the criteria for me. Fresh beef, bacon, Wisconsin cheese. The four peppercorn mayo really sets this burger apart. This is an ultimate bacon cheeseburger. Our new Pepper Grinder Pub Burger. Welcome to Delicious. Make it a winning weekend with terrific hot seat drawings at the Lodge at Deadwood Gaming Resort. From 6 p.m. to 11 p.m., you can win $100 to $500 in cash based on your Club 76 tier level. Win $100 with your Club 76 card. Gold members win $200. Platinum members $300. Diamond members $400. And Elite members win $500. Terrific hot seats are drawn every 20 minutes from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. every Friday and Saturday night at the Lodge at Deadwood Gaming Resort. Voted the area's number one gaming resort three years running. This is Black Friday. Oh my god. Does anybody want to be part of this? No. Well, Chevy has a better way. With Black Friday deals all month long. That's a great idea. What if you could get up to 20% cash back when you bought it? Bam. 20% back? That's awesome. It's Black Friday. Find your tag and get cash back for 20% of the MSRP on select 2015 vehicles in stock. Or get 0% financing for 72 months on 